Unfortunately, that happened. Warning, read before playing. Very small percent, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Far Cry 5 is a work of fiction. Game takes place in modern universe and inspired by reality, but any unauthorized resemblance of actual events or any real person living or dead is purely coincidental with the story name, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it's not based on anything. But as you can see, guys, we're playing Far Cry 5! Oh. I'm so freaking excited. Like, you guys don't understand. I love Far Cry. Ever since I played Far Cry 3, oh my god, I've just been... Every time it comes out, I'm so excited to play it. And, yeah, I'm planning on playing for quite some time now. Whew. I have my water with me. I just had a sip of that. Uh, hopefully this has controller support, because I do have the controller right now. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Hope County. Thank you. Oh, this game lo looks uh, gorgeous. Oh, let's do a new game. I gotta turn off my light over here. Uh, yeah, let's go normal. I'm not new to... Fu oh, we can be a dude or a dudette. Or, you know, just... Have it trash, maybe? Interesting. I'll be back when this actually starts working. Alright, we're back. I got this one. I can now pick between them. I don't know. I think we, since we've always been a dude in the Far Cry games, I'm gonna go with a girl this time. Yeah, we're gonna go with a girl. I mean, we're always a dude in Far Cry, so... Why go with a girl again? Oh, I'm so comfortable. Right, and I saw, behold, it was a white horse, and hell followed with him. Father. So excited. High zoom of the world map allows you to track your progression in okay, cool. Oh, damn. What the crap? That dude looks like iced tea.
He's mentioned that the cops were bought. I bet this dude is bought with them. Yeah, he's definitely a part of the cult. They would not send two U.S. Marshals in for this. Like, look at that. Yeah, we're, we're good. Oh, man. Okay. Dude's kind of a douche. Like, Seriously, would not send two marshals.
I hope this dude's a lot more like the guy from Far Cry 3, because Far Cry 4 is... Eh. Nah. Be an antagonist. Sure. Sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away. Yeah, what if this was one of those games where we literally just sat there? Like, I know in Far Cry 4, if you like didn't do anything for like 20 minutes in the beginning, you won. I wonder if we just like sat there for a while, if that would have won us. Then he made the altar of burnt offering of acacia wood. Okay, going. I just want to read that. But yeah, I really hope that Joseph Seed is a lot more like um, the dude from Far Cry 3 than the pagan men from Far Cry 4, because, I don't know, he just seemed more intense, like more maniacal. Uh, he had a Heath Ledger Joker type of feel to him. Or like a Mark Hamill Joker type thing, you know, from the animated comics. It just seemed a little bit better than Pagan Min, who is far too controlled as like a Godfather type character. Those gunshots, I feel, were a huge mistake. Pretty sure that's illegal to just chuck people out of a helicopter. That was a great freaking intro. Oh my god. Yeah, I already like this dude a lot better. I knew the cops were in on it. Alright, so she's alive. Ice T look to be alive.
Where's the sheriff? Literally everyone is here but the sheriff. Oh dear god. Oh god. Come on. This way, screw that. Very good. Actually, underwater is a pretty easy place to be. Said to take something. What am I taking? Ha ha. Buttons are similar. I like to play these games just a little bit on the stealthy side. other side of that fence without having to do any casualties. I actually like to see that. Alright. I don't know what my current objective is. Detection mirror fills up, then you spot you, it's full of flashes, you've been detected, when close enough, detect the price R S take time and detect quietly. I do prefer playing games a bit on the stealthy side, Assassin's Creed, all that type nonsense. Ooh, what was that? I don't want to check out right now. I think I prefer the baseball bat. Alright, get up to him, get up to him. not loot that guy, but it looked like there are people coming over to me. Okay, let me just loot you also. Sounds like they've got dogs. Like, why are they not attacking us with dogs? You know what? Hey, we're gonna go to the trailer. Sounds like Ice T's alive, but I'm gonna swap to the handgun just to be on the safer side. Whew! I 
don't like talking during the cutscenes. I'm sorry, you guys. Wait, you've been hiding in this house and didn't check things? Yeah, it looks creepy. How do you know? Burke, were you shooting? Is there any way of changing this? Like, I do not like that fully automatic setting. Peek out. Oh my lord. There you go. Not like the way that this fires. Use a med kit, yeah, sure. I want to pop on out of this house. Whoa. Oh, let me get in. Come on. There we go. Okay, holding on. Yeah. Come on, let's kill these guys. Off-roading. I'm trying to aim for their driver. You are making this very difficult, sir. Come on. Bulletproof. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Really? I can't heal anymore? Really? I died? Really? What are you doing? We gotta get the fuck out of here! 
Yeah, I'm attempting it. Ow, 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 ow. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta kill some of these cars. Come on. Alright. Can you not do this bouncy bouncing? Dear Lord, this is... Slightly intense. How am I supposed to get that guy? He's armored. Oh, shit! God, he got out. I've been so upset if Ice-T died. Crap, they, they got iced tea. Crap is this guy. You know what that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. You have V 
Vietnam vet? <laughs> I think this dude's a Vietnam vet. We did that. Yeah, we did that. It's not going to, right? I don't think so. That blade doesn't lock open. Why do you have a knife with no... That... You got it, Dutch. change our clothes. Oh, please make some choices before we proceed to character customization. I like that one or that. I'm going to go with that one right there. She seems, that face makes her seem the most green. She's going to be white. Eh. A little tannish should be okay. Seems like someone who have, like, darker hair. That looks seems to work. I mean, we can probably change our haircut later. Never mind. I'm between this one, to be honest, and this one. I mean, it just seems to work. I'm gonna go with that one. Yeah, confirm. Love me some purple. I'm go with the blue. The brown pants. No headwear. Oh, we got the leather gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should change this back. No, I'm going with the blue. Yeah, we're good. Confirm that. So this is our girl. Whoa. Joseph Seed, the father, leader of the project at Eden's Gate. He believes a great collapse is coming and thinks of himself a modern-day Noah. Thinks God speaks to him, told him to save as many souls as he can. Now that he's started the reaping, his followers are willing to die for him. He's had his people build three massive bunkers to protect themselves when this prophecy comes true. The guy's an absolute nut job. Jacob Seed, the soldier. Oldest brother of the Seeds, in charge of training their militia up in the White Tail Mountains. Only thing he believes in is the sacri is sacrifice of the weak. Seems to be running a few psychological experiments up north. All sorts of nightmare stories about people turning on uh, one another. At drop of hat has been linked to the creation of monster wolves up north. The cult calls judges. Faith, the siren. Don't know how she's related. Seems like she just showed up one day. She'll pin you, spin you a sob story, but Faith is a liar and a manipulator. 
She'll poison your mind with bliss if you give her the chance. Anyone who goes wandering into the Henbane River winds up either dead or walking the path to become one of those brain-dead angels doing all the cult's hard labor. John Seed, the Baptist, youngest of the Seed brothers and maybe the most sadistic, in charge of recruiting for the cult, marking, cleansing, confession, atonement. Those are the four steps he puts everyone through to become a member of Eden's Gate, if they survive. John tells everyone to accept the power of yes as a way to get his followers to do whatever the fuck he wants. Grade A Psychopath. Alright, we're going to talk to him next time.